Hey guys, it's Kim and I'm here with another update for a project pan. This is for the Panning Punk project pan. And this is a Fantastic Ladies collab created by Allie from uh, Wonder in Allie Land. She hasn't been active in a while, so I'm hoping she comes back soon and that everything's okay. But for this project, we are to have four to six prompts rolling at any time. And as we make goal on something, you roll something else in. So if you'd like to hear how I did this month, then keep watching. So I'm coming to you barefaced because I'm having some issues with my skin. I'm having some really dry patches around my nose that are turning red under my eye. I have a feeling it's the retinol and the vitamin C that I was using, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm going to see a dermatologist in the next couple of days. Um, but until then, I want to stay barefaced so that I'm not irritating it with makeup at least um, and stay really bare bones with my skincare. Um, so the next couple videos you'll see, maybe even a week's worth, are going to be me bare face. So there you go. So for this project, I had six prompts that I am rolling in, you know, at a time. I'm having up to six. Um, if I don't make a goal in a month, then I might roll something in anyway, just to have an extra prompt because it's really fun to roll things in. But anyway, let me get on with my update. The first prompt I had for the Sex Pistols, the song God Saves the Queen, um, that's a product of the royal titles. I didn't have anything with a royal title, so I kind of went a little bit overboard and I thought, well, what about royalty could I pull in? And I thought about the product Sin from JD Glow. I've really wanted to start working on those shadows in my Cleona, like my special shades. So I thought, well, people that are royalty have a lot of sins that they cover up. So I pulled in sin. My goal was to use it five times and I did. So it's rolling out. Here is a, a swatch of it right there. So super pretty. It's so pretty topped over things. I love it. The next prompt for My Chemical Romance, Welcome to the Black Parade. We had to choose a black eyeshadow. So I chose this shadow from Unique. It is a pressed or a loose pigment that I pressed into this pan. And my goal is to hit pan. It did go down from 2.71 to 2.69. And I'm focusing like right in here because that's where I have the biggest dip. And here's a swatch of it right there. So I didn't hit pan yet. So it's still staying in the project, but I'm okay with that. Next up for the Ramones Rock and Roll High School, a product that was a teenage staple, and for me, that was black eyeliner. So I chose the Marc Jacobs highliner in the shade Blacker, and here is a swatch of it right there. It is super black, and I was, I'm a little bit below this line, so I wasn't able to draw a new line, but I have used it a few times, so I'm okay with that as well, so that'll be staying in. And then for some 41 still waiting, a devastating product or a product that feels like it's taking forever. And for that, I chose my Cause RX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. My friend thinks it's absolutely disgusting. My friend Bev thinks it's absolutely disgusting that I put anything with snail mucin on my face. So if you're watching, Beeve, there you go. It's still staying in though because I was not able to make it to my goal, which was this line. I'm at this line right now. So in about a month, maybe a little more, this will be out of the project. We'll see. It did go down though from 129.62 to 120.91. Yay. Then for Green Day, the song was Holiday, and the prompt was a holiday theme product. I chose this Tarte Quench Lip Rescue in the shade Holly. I knew I made a mistake, but I'm not going to go back on it. I originally in my head said I want to get to this line. And then when I updated this for the first time, I said I wanted to finish it. So I'm like, well, I can't now go back and say, nope, I only said I was going to get to the line because that's where I'm at right now. I am at this line. But I'm going to keep it in, and my goal is still going to be to finish it. And that is a swatch of it right there. 
Um, I'm going to bring it to work and work on it. I'm going to, I, I usually only bring one product with me to work, but I think I'm going to bring a little bag and just keep bringing it back and forth every day in my purse. And that way I can get usage out of more products. So that'll be staying in. And then finally for the misfits, Halloween that is a horror slash scary movie inspired product or a Halloween inspired product so for that I chose this moonlit shower gel from the open crypt um, and I really liked it it smells it smelled like bamboo and it lather it didn't lather as much as I would like it to but I also use a washcloth so if I use this on like a poof or something it did lather better so that's okay. So yeah, so that's rolling out too. So I have two prompts that are rolling out. So let me get my um, Tiny Decisions app. And we'll roll two new prompts. Okay. So the first prompt we're going to roll... is Paramour. The second prompt is Nirvana. So I will be back with products and to let you know the prompts in a bit. Okay, I am back. And for the prompt Paramour, that is the song Misery Business. And that is a product from a brand that is only known for one thing. Hmm. I don't know if I did this right, but I'm sticking with it because now I'm thinking a brand. I was thinking of a product that only does one thing, but this is a product from a brand that only does one thing. And in my mind, because I think I only have, well, that's not true. Well, anyway, I've chose this Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. You guys tell me if this can count because I feel like this is the only thing that they're like really widely known for is the All Nighter products. I mean, I know they have other eyeshadows and stuff like that, but in my mind, I was like, well, All Nighter, that's Urban Decay. Like it's something that we know them for. So tell me if this is right. And if you guys don't think that I should count this for this prompt. Like, if I keep getting comments like, you cheated, I didn't mean to, but let me know. Anyway, I'm putting this in, unless I get yelled at. <laughs> anyway, my goal is to finish this. I'm, I'm anxious to try it, though. I've really wanted to, and I haven't been able to fit it into a project. Um, then for Nirvana Heart Shape Box, a product that relates to your zodiac sign, um, I'm a Taurus and a Taurus is an earth sign and I have been really wanting to use my special shades more like I just said. So I decided to go into my Cleona collection and I found the shade Weld, which in the pan, looking down at it right now is like a dark green shade and it's super pretty. When I look at it like this, it looks brown or purple, but then you shift it, you see that green? Um, so there's a swatch. Oh, the green was just there. Green, yellow, brown, almost like a silver in a sense. See that? Silver, purple, green. So there's the finger swatch. It is absolutely gorgeous and I'm super excited to have this in my rotation. So my goal for that is to use it five times. Five times. All right, so there is my update for the Panning Punk Project Pan. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.